Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I'm going to show you Gorilla Joe. And Gorilla Joe is just the name of a robot that my students called him. He's one of those kind of biped walkers where it's just one of those cool robots. You're just going to have to see it. So if you want to, stay with me. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Some of you have been asking about my organization of my Lego EV3 pieces. I've shown you uh, my cabinets before. I'll leave you the link to the first time that I showed a video of my cabinets. But some of you have been asking, well, what about the bigger stuff that doesn't fit into those small drawers? So I'm gonna show you right now what I do with the bigger pieces. Take a look. Okay, so some of you have seen my cabinets and drawers again before. So basically what I do is I just take the EV3 lid and cut up the pieces and just um, attach that to the drawer so my students know what piece they're looking for. And they just open up the drawer and grab what they need. Um, some of the drawers I have multiple of because, you know, the amount of pieces we have is just too large for one container. Especially like those 15-hole beams. I think I have several of those. So there's one right there. There's another one down there just because we need the space. And then for the items that are too big to put in these, uh, I go down below. So there's all the sprockets, the curved panels. There's the 10 inch cables, 14, 20, all of our picture frames and H frames. And then we have the tank track down below. So it's just one of those things where the students, man, you can just imagine how many pieces they lose in a given day, a week. So if they're missing anything, they don't bug me about it. They just know where to come and get those extra pieces. Okay, I had some students working on Gorilla Joe. I don't think they wanted to call him Gorilla Joe until after they built him and see what... I mean, they went through a lot of modifications to try to get Gorilla Joe to work. So I think after they put him together and they looked at him, they went... Yeah, that's Gorilla Joe. So if you want to see him, come on, let's go take a look. All right, everybody, here he is, Gorilla Joe. Um, sorry, ladies, it can be Gorilla Joanne. I don't know. I don't know. I guess they were boys, so they called him Gorilla Joe. You can almost call him Crab Joe. I mean, the way he walks, it almost looks like a crab, too. So let's go ahead and take a look at this program and see how they got Gorilla Joe to walk. So there goes Gorilla Joe. Okay guys, so hopefully you like Gorilla Joe. I'm pretty fascinated with these biped walkers. The elephant and anything that can just move, I'm, I'm just like, wow, that's really cool. So. Gorilla Joe no has no instructions. I mean, you might just take a look at the build from the video and just see how you might be able to make something like Gorilla Joe. So I'm really sorry about that. It was just one of those things where they built it, took it apart, rebuilt it again, modified it. So who knows how they built this thing. But I thought he was really cool. Okay, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. Hino! He's out. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.